Boris Johnson has been urged to make use of post-Brexit freedoms to keep the country growing. Countless officials, of all stripes, issued warnings over the alleged damaging economic impacts of leaving the EU. Despite this, British high net worth individuals remain confident about London's position as financial capital of Europe over the next decade and investment in UK startups is rising. Even European commentators, including French economist Francois Langlais, have accepted Brexit was not the catastrophe many predicted. businessman and former Brexit party MEP has hailed this fantastic success of Brexit. He pointed in particular to data showing investment in startups has more than doubled in 2021 after the UK left the EU single market. This climbed from £11.5 billion in 2020 to £26 billion the following year. The trend for projected UK startup revenues also makes for uplifting reading, as revealed in a recent City AM report. But Mr Habib added Britain could be performing even better still if the freedoms gained by leaving the EU were properly grappled. He told Express.co.uk, if we could achieve all this with the headwinds of the pandemic and a highly regulated and taxed economy, think what we could do if our government adopted a genuinely business-friendly attitude. Instead of doing this, he criticised Whitehall for its highly regulated and taxed approach. Following more than a year of varying levels of lockdown, the government famously raised taxes to their highest level since the Second World War in September 2021. This included increasing national insurance. Over the years, Tories have been known to brand this a jobs tax, highlighting the significance of its most recent announcement. Mr Habib insisted this was the wrong approach, the taxes should be cut, not pumped up. He said, we should build on this success and cut taxes and regulations for innovative new and medium-sized businesses. The UK is a great place to live and work. Brexit did not change that. We need now to use the freedom of Brexit to accelerate further this fantastic success. Polling suggests voters are not merely unhappy with the Prime Minister's involvement in what has been dubbed Partygate but over his handling of Brexit. Were he to be capable of making more use of the freedoms of Brexit? As he has been urged to do, he could possibly receive far more favour in a future electoral bid.